In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to a fully functional Binance Smart Chain node for free. And it's not any node. It's a node that is reliable, scalable, and that will be here long term. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I see so many people wanting to, do, to develop on Binance Smart Chain, but they don't really know how to start or how to do it because it feels complicated deploying to a cross chain. You're so used to doing it through MetaMask, this and that, but it's actually so easy. That I, and I wanted to show you how it can be done. Uh, and for those of you that watched this channel for a long time, uh, I haven't made a video here in a long time either, so I'm sorry for that. But I've been incredibly busy with, you know, the Ivan Tech Academy where I teach and Morales, that is, you know, our latest company, which we're going to use today to connect to Binance Smart Chain. Uh, what you need, first of all, is access to an actual node. Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video, but you need the node in order to be able to deploy smart contracts or to get blockchain data to your DAP, to be able to get balances and so on. You need access to a node and it's not easy to run a binance smart chain node it's way harder than running an ethereum node which in itself is pretty difficult the binance smart chain nodes are hard to come by but we've managed uh, to find a way to run them in a way that scales and that is reliable 100 percent so what you need is an account over at our um, new project morales and uh, you register at morales.io and once you have signed into your account, you go over to speedy nodes in the menu. And here you can find nodes for Ethereum, for Binance Smart Chain, for Polygon even. Maybe I'll make a video about that, but the procedure is the same. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to click on endpoints here on Binance Smart Chain. And this will bring up all of the endpoints that you can use. Currently, as of making this video, you have the mainnet endpoint, you have the testnet endpoint. Then you also have testnet archive node and mainnet archive node. Uh, mainnet archive node currently is uh, still in sync, but it should be ready in, uh, I would say a few days, maybe a week. So you can check back, maybe watching this video way after I'm recording this, then you see the mainnet archive node right here. It's a node that saves previous states of the blockchain. So if you wanna go back to you know a time in history and you wanna know what the state of a current smart contract was, then you need an archive node. And so that you can get also here for free. So make sure to sign up for Morales. It's a really good place for DAP smart contract developers. But how do you use a URL like this? Well, let's start with a testnet actually. So let's add the testnet first. Let's copy the testnet here. You copy that to your clipboard or you can just select this and copy. Uh, now you want to go into your MetaMask and add this as a network. So you open MetaMask, you click on your little profile picture here, whatever that is. Go into settings, networks, add network, and now I already have the BSC testnet here. But you can you go into here and then you write Binance Smart Chain testnet RPC URL here, so you paste the URL from Morales. Chain ID is 97, currency symbol BNB, and Block Explorer URL here you can put in nothing, it's not uh, mandatory, or you can put in BSC scan.com. Uh, but you can save that. I already have this added, so I don't, I can't click save, but you can save it. And then you have it selected here as your network. Then you can do all the things that you're used to doing with MetaMask on Ethereum. You can go to faucets. You can get B and testnet BNB as I did here. You can go into remix and you can deploy contract. This right here is deployed uh, through this node to Binance Smart Chain test network. So I can call these functions. I can set uh, the message here, uh, call a setter function, confirm it here all on the Binance Smart Chain. And uh, you can do the same thing in Truffle or wherever you need an RPC URL to a Binance Smart Chain node. So make sure to take uh, the opportunity to use this because it is, as I said, free. Uh, and um, yeah, use it for wherever you need, um, for your uh, DAP development, smart contract development, whatever you need. And you can use it in just a regular curl command, whatever you want to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want me to do any other video of Binance Smart Chain or how to actually deploy but you know it's it's so it's exactly the same as deploying with ethereum because they use the same evm um, so all the tools are the same all the procedures are the same as long as you have the network uh, so but let me know in the comments what you want to see on binance on matic whatever that could be i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video thank you for watching and check out morales.io links below i'll see you in the next video